Today is the day, the day that it be all begins, the day of my massacre shall begin. All the kids in school will run in fear and hide. From the wrath of my power they will know who I am. I am nothing, I am no one, my life is nothing and meaningless. Everything that I hold dear I let go beyond your half. Every day I see the world ending another day. I live a lone life, live in seclusion and solitude. I hate everyone and everything. With the power of my AR, you will all know who I am. I had enough of being told what to do and when to do. I had enough of being telling me that I'm an idiot and a dumbass. But in real life, you're all the dumbass. You're all stupid and brainwashed by these political government programs. You will all see, you will all know who my name is. My love for you, Angie, will never go away. I hope to see you in the afterlife. On one day or another, you will end and we'll all die. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go take an Uber in the afternoon before 2.40. From there, I'll go into the onto school campus, walk up the stairs, Load my bags and get my AR and shoot people down at the main, was it the main courtyard? Await and people will die. So, what do you see there? Was there planning? Yeah. What did you plan? What was the time? 240, <laughs> dismissal, right? How is he going to get there? Uber. What was you going to bring? An M60 or AR with trace around it. Uh, what else did you see? What was his kill count? 20. 20. You know what he got to? 17. Um, did he sound like he wanted to survive? Do you know why he stopped? His gun jammed. His gun jammed. And he dropped the gun and he walked out. He probably didn't plan. I mean, how often do we practice malfunctions? All the time, because we don't have that luxury of dropping our gun and running away. They expect us to get back in the fight. So we practice malfunctions constantly. So, uh, but most people, they don't train for that. Remember that. Um, can you see any of those stages coming to fruition? What else was he, what was he seeking? Attention. Uh, who here has Facebook? Mm -hmm. Raise up an all razor. <laughs> right? Who has more than one? Who has Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, you know, it's. I, I avoid social media just because I, I'm just not that important. But social media is creating an entire generation of people who it's either you get rich or you get famous or you get both. If you can't get uh, rich, well, you can get famous. That's what he was going for. Um, it's it's a very narcissistic, but that's what you guys do with kids every day. How is it? Right? It's all about the next viral video. How do you get it? How do you get there? Uh, so that video is very, very educational. So I don't want to freak anybody out. I don't want to advertise it, but you can kind of get a, 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 an eye into what you're dealing with. So you see any of those things, any of those things, we've got to... Uh, We've got to tell somebody. So active shooter, there's a saying in the military, if everything goes according to plan, it's a trap. Teachers especially, I don't know why, teachers want to know, what do I do? I need a plan, I need a book clip, I need a chart, I need a book chart, right? <laughs> there isn't, there isn't one, all right? Having a good plan is good, but having good tactics is better. Um, you know, people like you, you, you sit down with some of the educators, like, well, where should we evacuate to? Where should we tell people to go? I don't know if it's good to, to say that you need to go here. Maybe we'll have a couple places because what I don't want is someone to be waiting there, you know? Um, you talk about tactics. How many people have kids? How many people talk to your kids about this? Do you? Uh, I, I say all the time, Israel, they teach kids that are this big about IEDs because they have to. Uh, but that's just the way it is. I, I talk to my kids, you know, I'm like, so is this before they implemented run high fight at my kids' school? I talked about run high fight, and I told them, I said, you get out of that thing. I don't care if it's a drill, I'll buy the window, get out. Um, and we walk through, uh, I I've seen your page, I'm going to be blinded. Manage plan. 
So, I talk to my kids. I would walk around Costco. I tell them, I tell them the story. I walk around Costco, and I'll stop my kid. I say, like, hey, listen, someone walked in right now. So I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, run my bike. I'm like, okay. No, tell me exactly what you're going to do. He's like, well, I'm a rough. I was like, where would you go? He's like, he starts looking where all the exits are. And he says, okay, well, let's say you can't get to an exit. What are you going to do? He's like, well, I could hide in there. And, he, and he's like, like, I think that's probably the bulletproof. I could probably get in there. Now, you might say this is like, you days for a parent. But is it out of the ordinary? Um, I think it was like two years ago, a guy walked in for no reason, started shooting off Costco. And then an off duty police officer killed him. Didn't shoot you, but didn't make the news. Not a high kill count. Um, but that's actually why I, why I did it. I was at the Costco. But how many times do you talk to you know, your kids about stuff like that? Let me ask you a question. How many grocery stores do you go to? Two. 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 Same ones? Yeah. How many movie theaters do you go to? Huh? Four. Four? You're busy. <laughs> How many restaurants do you go to? You have your favorite restaurant? Where are the exits? I'm jumping out the window. Jumping out the window? You ever think about stuff like that? Talk to your kids about stuff like that? How many people have like a, I've heard, I don't, but anybody have like a, uh, I don't know what they call it, like a safe word or something for their kids? Like, hey, mom or daddy says this, don't argue, you just do exactly what you're the mommy and daddy says this, and go here now. Stop what you're doing, you listen. Um, just a quick follow up. I didn't want to let you all know Dave's kids are doing fine. But we have to do this time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I, I do think it's important. You have to. It's a sign of the time. It's, listen, folks, if this isn't going anywhere, it's probably only going to get worse. Uh, you have to educate them. Listen, you're still very, very unlikely to involve that incident. But again, there's how long do you think these, these incidents occur? Nationally. How many days? 270. Huh? 270. I think the last one I heard was every three days. There's an active shooter incident. By definition. Uh, the problem is you don't hear about them. If you really, really dig the news, you can find them. But unless there's a, a, a big kill count, they're just they're, they're out there. How many in a school? How many days? Every 30. That's what we're up to right now. Uh, so, recognizing when an active shooter event is happening. During many incidents, people run towards the gunfire. This happens a lot. Um, I did this uh, active shooter training at the mall. We shut the mall down, killed the meeting mall. Anybody, everybody been there? Uh, I had police officers, role players. They were in the mall. They were going around. I capped off some blanks in the food court. Cops were like, there's gunfire, we want to go there, they went over there, big gunfight, cops won, high five. Came back, I had 30 mall security officers, 30, it was exactly 30. I said to them, I said, how many have heard real gunfire? You know, mall security, they all shoot guns. I said, keep your hands up. How many did it sound like what you thought it would sound like? They all put their hands down. I said, what did it sound like? Fireworks. They all said it sounded like fireworks. Why did it sound like fireworks? Who in here is fired a real gun? Okay, did you do it inside? Did you do it without hearing attention? Right? And it doesn't sound like it moves, it doesn't sound like it sounds like And especially in stuff like a mall or a school, what is in here? Concrete, metal, you get ricochets, it bounces around, it doesn't sound like it is. So you read these, I read these after actions and these after shooters events in schools and stuff like that, and they're in a meeting and bang, 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 and they're like, what's that? And then they go and look. Guess what happens? Get shot. So, the moral of the story is you hear what you think is fireworks inside, and it's not the 4th of July, and it's not fireworks. You need to jump into action. We're getting how long these incidents last? 8 to 12 minutes. And your job is to buy time. So the quicker you jump into action, the quicker you react, the better off you'll be. Uh, call the police. Don't assume somebody already did. Always, always call the police. All right? If you call the police and you can't talk, what should you do? Stay on the line. Stay on the line. Stay on the line. Keep you on the line. The dispatcher, they're trained. They will listen and relay what they hear. Um, if you listen to these active shooter events, especially if you're about far back as Columbine, 